Hi, this is Scoggin. This is second video to my Piddle Beans with Ground Beef My Way video. And I uh, have let the beans uh, just sit for an hour and uh, go and go ahead and show you what you do from, from this point. This is where you add the ingredients. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you what's going on here. See how this is looking. And if you use these uh, cast iron pots, you need to, they, they hold the heat even in the lid. So you need to be careful and have something to grab a hold of. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got the beans and they've been sitting there looking pretty decent. They kind of plumped up a little bit. Just going to give them a stir here. They're not near cooked. So what we're going to do from here, and we're going to go ahead and add uh, the seasonings, which I'm going to add uh, two tablespoons of the Gebhardt chili powder. That's because Mrs. Coggett likes this in, in these beans. So that's why we're adding it. You don't have to. You can add add it if you want to or omit it. It's up to you. Don't want to get too much in there. So we got the chili powder. I'm going to give that a stir. I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, diced tomatoes, which this is a big can of diced tomatoes. And we're going to add it with the uh, water and all. Not going to drain it, in other words. I slide around there. Just going to make us a good, good batch of beans here. I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, bell pepper and di diced onion. I don't think you can ever get too much of this in there. I love both of them. These are going to cook down and add a little bit of uh, moisture to it also. I'm going to go ahead and add the ground beef, the brown ground beef to it. You say, well, that looks more like a chili. Well, it's not a chili. Uh, this is where I make my, my uh, pinto beans with ground beef. Like I say, you can put anything you want to in it. I'm going to kick this up and bring it to a boil. And I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. And whenever you add water to beans, of course, you want to add hot water. Just to add a little moisture on it because you sure don't want these to burn. Nothing like the stench of one burnt bean will ruin the entire pot. I'm not lying to you. Now they say, whatever you do, don't add the salt. I always add uh, Lowry seasoning salt to it. And never had a problem. Add a little bit more flavor to it. We're going to just go on ahead and bring these beans up to a to a boil now. Because that's going to make 
when these uh, vegetables start to cook up, they're going to release some moisture. And it's going to make these uh, beans just, just really, really, really flavorful. Stir this up. Might go ahead and add just a little bit more water. That's it. We got them almost to the top here. Which is good because I tell you what, I like these beans. Mighty fine beans. Okay, we're going to go ahead and bring this up to boil now. And I'll explain what you need to do from here. I hate these, uh, really don't care for these uh, glass top uh, because they, your stuff slides around. My mother had, had the ones what had the, uh, uh, you could put them on a burner. This thing would never slide around. My mother always made it, made it like that. Never had it sliding around. She's uh gone to heaven now, so know where she's at. So I don't worry about it. Her, and my grandmother, and my dad. Just uh. Really gives a peaceful feeling when you know that. I'm going to go ahead and bring these up to a boil. Like I said, I want these to be a like a real good boil, and then I'm going to uh, show you what we do from here. And like I say, you can have whatever you want. If you want want them hot, add jalapenos. If you want them uh, hotter and jalapeno, uh, 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 like, uh, the habaneros. It's up to you, however you like these beans. If you don't like onions, don't put them in. If you don't like bell peppers, well, don't put it in. If you don't like, uh, tomatoes, don't put it in. I mean, it's all up to you. You make this any way you like it. I'm just showing you how I like it and how I make it. And this is just kind of like a guideline. You can just make them plain. Uh, they're always good. No matter how you do be a uh, pinto beans, they're always going to come out good, and they're uh, they're uh, just uh, just a really good has a really good taste. I love these pinto beans, man. I could eat these every day. Of course, Mrs. Coggett says don't do that. She's got to live with me. Okay, come up to a boil now. That's what we're waiting on. I love using these uh, cast iron uh, pots like this. Man, they cook evenly. That's what's great about it. And and the more you use them, uh, the better they get. I remember my grandmother had one of these. Uh, it was similar to this. But this was back years ago. And the inside of that pot was so shiny, you could see yourself. I used to, when I was a kid, look at myself, and it was like looking in a mirror. Like looking in glass. And that's how well seasoned it was. And uh, I wish I would have got a hold of that pot. I don't know what happened to it. I was uh, young back then, and I don't know... Uh, I think my mother had it. Then, uh, I don't know what she did with it. I think she kept it, and then when she passed on, I don't know, maybe my brother had it. That's getting real good and hot. And I can tell that the, uh, vegetables, the onions, the bell peppers are sweating down because I'm getting more uh, uh, moisture. I mean, more uh, uh, water in there. 
That's good. It's still all, all good. Waiting on it to come up to boil, I'll tell you what. It smells great in here already. Okay, we're getting it there now. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put the lid on it. Just like this. I'm going to reduce the heat to a simmer. Because you want this to be at a, like a low simmer so the beans don't burn. Now we got it uh, brought up to boil. We're going to put it at a low simmer and cook these beans until they're tender. Uh, how long will that take? Uh, it can take anywhere from uh, two hours, three hours. But with this one I found out it's probably going to be anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours with these beans because I, I know these beans and, and uh, know how they are and, and everything. But that's uh, what we do. And, and what you want to do every now and then, you want to give them a stir. You want to check on the water level. Make sure that the water level is not, uh, that, that they're like going to burn. You sure don't want them to burn because you have one burnt bean and that, it'll ruin the whole pot. It'll make the whole pot taste like crap. I know because I've, I've done it before. So this is Scoggit. I have the final uh, video coming up which will be the plating up of it. And I'll show you how they turned out. This is Scoggett. Appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there. And hope you give this a try and make it your way. I'm making it my way. This is Scoggett. Y'all take care.